So have you guys ever been sitting down watching one of your favorite YouTubers ever and just thinking to yourself, how do they do this? Like, what do they use to make these videos? What is the behind the scenes like? What inspired them to make their videos, you know? Where were they at the beginning versus where they are now? What's their story? Do they have any advice? Well, if you've been wondering that about me, then I'm going to give you all that information. I'm going to be answering your questions. I'm going to be telling you guys who inspired me, where I was at the beginning, what I used to make my videos, giving you guys some advice, all of that stuff in today's video. Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I started my channel in 2014, November of 2014 to be exact, and I thought, you know what? It's about time I tell my story. It's about time I give some advice. It's about time I make this video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. So here we are. So what inspired me? Well, I was inspired mainly by YouTubers like Alicia Marie and Seven Supergirls to start filming and I, when i had this when i got this camera it was like a vtech kitty zoom camera for kids uh when i got that i was using it to film fake little youtube videos 24 7 and i was inspired by their skits and their back to school videos and all the videos that they were doing in around 2012 2014 and i loved it i loved filming those types of videos i loved filming anything and everything and if my friends were in, it, in on it like if they liked to do it i would film with them and it was just a great time so where was i at the beginning in the beginning i was always filming fake little videos i was filming with my camera even though i knew no one would see them because i wasn't posting on youtube yet and i was not sharing these videos to any of my friends or family sometimes i would even just film like not with the camera on or anything. I would just be in my head filming little fake videos so much that I remember one time I was in the bathtub filming, fake filming, uh, no camera, no anything. And I was just talking to myself and I was like talking like a, I was doing a video and I must have freaked my dad out or something because he thought I was actually filming because he came in and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. And he's like, are you filming? And I was like, no or something like that. I don't exa re exactly remember how it happened, but so clearly you can tell by that story how much I really was just fake filming and really filming, but not actually showing it to anyone. I was also super into the idea of gaming videos so much that I got so excited when I found out how to screen record on my uh, computer and film myself playing. Animal Jam and Movie Star Planet and Minecraft. I remember trying to be like Amy Lee when she does her Amy Lee Land of Love videos. Um, I tried to be her. So let's talk about my camera journey. Where was I at the beginning and everything in between. So camera wise, I think it's safe to say that I have um, grown and evolved the most in that area. I, I was starting in my head, um, and I then got a camera, and I got that kitty zoom camera that I mentioned. Yeah, so I started with that, um, and then I moved on to the lovely webcam and my mom's laptop, and then I went uh, on to an Amazon Fire tablet, which has great quality. <laughs> Um, and then I went on to an iPod Touch? No, 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 an iPod 4. I don't know, it was like, not the nice one, but it was like, decent. Um, and then I also moved on to an iPhone 4. I was moving on up, I was actually having a phone. <laughs> um, and that's when I started really uploading to YouTube and editing because I learned about iMovie. Um, and then I moved on to my iPhone 6, which was, like, one of my first phones, like, nice phones at the time. Because the iPhone 4 was, like, not it at the time. Like, not cool. Um, but then I got my iPhone 6, and that's what... I, this is when I started to get really serious about it. 
And then I went on to um, my Android phone, the one and only Android I've ever had, um, and I got that. Um, and then I was like, yeah, I want to go back to iPhone. So I got an iPhone 6 again. So after I got my second iPhone 6, I got the camera that I have, like an actual camera. It's the Sony Handycam CX405. And then I got the iPhone 7, which I'm using now to film, which I like this because if I'm, I don't have my camera around or I just want to randomly whip out my camera and film, I can and the iPhone and the quality is not bad. Like it's decent enough to work with where it's like, oh, I don't have my camera so I can't film at all. Like, no, I can totally film with my phone if I have to. And so that's where we are now. That's all the cameras that I've had since starting my YouTube or filming career. So what do I use now? I use my Dell 15 inch touchscreen laptop that I got a couple years ago to edit all my videos unless I'm using my phone. And on my laptop, I have the PowerDirector 16 editor, which is great. It's simple, it does the job, and it's honestly really, really nice. But if I'm using my phone, I will use the InShot video editor app, which I also love. It's honestly better than iMovie because you can do so much more with the app. And as for thumbnails go, I use the app Fonto and the website defont.com to get my fonts. So with that app, I can put the text on my photos, I can insert images onto an image, and it's just really, really easy and nice way and simple to make my thumbnails. But if I want to do some collages or I want to draw outlines on my image or add stickers, then I will move on to the app PixArt. And for a while, when I was doing those border thumbnails, um, I was using PixArt just PixArt uh, for those, but I l I prefer Fonto because it's really easy, simple, and gets it gives you like a clean look for your thumbnails, which I like. So all the music that I use is either from InShot and in the app that with um the albums that they provide for you, or I use uh, YouTube Music Library or just copyright music that I find on YouTube or websites there's a playlist down below that i have provided all of the links to uh or the videos f for music and templates and all that stuff that uh i was able to find some of the videos that i was trying to look up uh weren't there anymore like they something happened with copyright or something so i wasn't able to play them back or link them so i'm sorry for that but for the majority all the music and stuff will be in the description so let's talk passion. How, what has this taught me about what I want to do? How much do I really love doing this? Um, what has it taught me? All that stuff. So let's start with career. Um, this is doing YouTube has taught me that this is what I really, really love and what I'm really, really passionate about. I've learned that this is what I want to do as a career and what I want to major in in college. In college, I want to do film and media production. I want to do some sort of videography or film editing. Um, and whether that's actually doing YouTube full time and like making this a career or actually getting like a job and doing videography or film editing for a company, um, whatever the case may be, this is what I wanna do, whatever that means for me. Um, and this is the only thing that I really feel as passionate about besides school, this is the one thing I have a really high passion for. Um, I feel like if I didn't know about YouTube or film editing and stuff, I would feel lost because this is what I love to do. So if I wasn't doing YouTube, I feel like I wouldn't have really found this passion as much as I have. And so I would feel lost. I wouldn't really know what I want to do or what I like to do because I don't like sports. Um, I don't do theater. I am not super smart, so I don't do any, like, debate or mathematician. I don't even know what it's called, but... I don't do those things, okay? I only do YouTube and school. So I would feel very lost because I know that it's very good for you to do extracurriculars or have some sort of hobby or passion. So I have taken the steps to make sure that I'm doing this thing that I love. I am doing YouTube. I've taken a broadcasting class freshman year. I'm taking yearbook this year and I am one of the 
video coordinators, which means I'm putting together videos, which is what I like to do. I know that this is what I want to major in in college, so that's how I've been deciding on what colleges to go to and how I've been researching them. I know that there's a program at a center near me for high schoolers that has media communications, so I'm going to take that or I'm going to apply for it. Uh, I've just been trying as much as I can to take the steps to getting this career path um, that I love so much. So let's get into the advice now. Let's get into the tips that I have for you guys, especially you small YouTubers out there or the people that are trying to start YouTube channels. My first piece of advice for you guys is to only do it if you really want to or you really love making videos and you really love YouTube because it is not about the numbers whatsoever. If you're only thinking about the numbers and the fame and the subscribers, this is not going to be a good career path for you or a good thing for you to pursue because this is commitment and if you are trying to make videos and you're faking your happiness and you're faking your passion and you're only doing it for the clout, people are going to notice that and you're not going to get subscribers. Also, if you're only thinking about the money and the subscribers, just know it takes a long time for that to come. I've been doing this for, like I said, six years and I'm only at 256 subscribers, making no money and only doing this because I love it. If you're only thinking about the money, it's not going to come for a while. Like, it literally, you're lucky to get make money and get a bunch of subscribers in the in a year anyone any youtuber you'll go to will say the same thing and that it's not about the money it's not about the subscribers and if you're thinking about that you're doing it for the wrong reasons the next thing i wanted to say is don't waste your money it is not about the best quality or the best gear if you have a phone and that's all you have that's what you have and that's what you're going to use like it's not about having the best editor and having the coolest effects or graphics or the best camera and it's not even about being rich at all like if you don't have money you can still make amazing videos don't do, don't quit just because you don't have the nice things okay if that makes sense basically all i'm saying is don't waste your money on the nicest best camera nicest best editor the nicest best content like don't waste your money on content like buying crap for a video like just don't waste your money because you don't need amazing things to make an amazing video the next thing i wanted to talk to you guys about is content so the biggest thing about youtube is that people forget that they gotta be unique and they have to make a video of their own and they cannot be just like another youtuber like they can be inspired by them but they have to take their those ideas and inspiration and make it into their own make it theirs you know this is your channel this is not someone else's channel let's take for instance i justine and sarah dicci for example these are two very successful tech youtubers who make videos about anything from iphones to the newest a uh, laptop to the n nicest cameras, they to advice, all that stuff, just anything tech. So let's say they both did a review for the iPhone 11, right? So they both put up the video, you bo watch both of them, but you see different people doing different reviews. You see different styles, you see different people, you see just you see a lot of differences because they're staying to themselves and they're being unique. That's what people want to see from you. They People want to see your video for you and they want to remember that this type of video that they watched was yours and not someone else's. Another thing is you got to put in 100% effort when you are making your videos. You don't want to slack and put in 50% and then it not be a great video and you don't even like it. And, but you put it up anyways just because. Like, no. If you're super, super proud of it then put it up but if you're not super proud of it then don't put it up and it's okay to if you have a like weekly video schedule that you post it's okay to miss a week for a really good video idea you um that you have in the making so, like they would miss a video from you for a week uh for one week if that meant that you were making something amazing uh alicia marie actually told me this uh through two of her youtube tips videos but she basically said that if you cannot sit through your own video, if you can't watch your own video, then no one else will. 
you have to be 100% into your videos and into your content, not just posting just because, but because you're like, I love this video and I want people to see it, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Just remember to be 100% yourself, put in 100% eff um, effort, and just remember that everyone comes from different, you know, backgrounds and everyone comes from different lives and which means that everyone's gonna make different videos and that is okay that is awesome actually make your own content make your channel yours make your video yours and i hope you guys do amazing things with your channels leave a comment down below if you guys have a channel and i will totally check them out Make sure to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload every single Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And thank you guys to everyone who has been watching my videos for a while. I think it's crazy to me that I have literally been doing YouTube forever. Like, I don't remember not doing YouTube. Like, that's how long I've been doing YouTube. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!